Okay, Kitty Pies, it's August 14th, 2024, and this is the uh, progress on the 60 bug restoration. It's been a couple months since I worked on it. I have uh, had a lot of things going on this summer. Um, I have a small catering business. I'm pretty busy with that, but now I'm going to start working on this again. I want to get this in final primer and hopefully paint in the next month or two. So I uh, got the body all ready, ready to go in final primer down the bottom here. Got everything epoxy primer on the inside, but here's the thing. I thought the roof was pretty straight, but once I started sanding on it, you could see how it wasn't so exactly straight. I mean, if, if you put regular paint on there and, you, you know, in a regular paint job, it probably would look fine, but I want this really straight, especially in here. There was a lot of factory waves I had to take out. Um, there was just some factory... Um, you know stampings the way they stamp them down here and they always sag a little bit in here it, it, nobody really sat on the roof or anything it was just uh that's just the way it is and the drip rails are a little as they call it wonky right in here so i wanted to straighten these up straighten all these sail panels up nice and straight so that took a while uh, there was a lot more work on that roof than i thought so that took me about a month and then, um, so tomorrow I'm gonna high build, I'm gonna poly prime the uh, high build the uh, roof in A and B colors. So tonight I came in, I taped these off with with a uh, fine line tape here, fine line, and I wanted the seam seal up in this crack here. So I taped off this and taped this off. And then I took my uh, two-part 3M and I used the bare metal seam sealer on that. And um, you can use it on bare metal or sanded regular primer too. It this, I used it on here because it was a, this is a clear seam sealer. So hopefully it won't bleed through the paint when I go to paint and primer. Whereas the heavy-bodied seam sealer there's the number there that's a good i could have done it there too also but it's a black prime or a black sealer so i wanted something that would be compatible with the paint so so tomorrow i'll get that high build and then i gotta sand the high build block it see where i'm at and then i can go and put it in final primer like this here and then i'll be ready for uh ready to do the final sand I just have to uh, seam seal the inside, all the joints in the inside, and I'll probably be a good, at least two, two to three weeks just doing the final sand, checking everything. Now these, uh, this cowl panel here, there is a little whoop de doo here from the factory. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to see if I can block some of that out with the high build. If not, if I'm not happy with it, I'm going to do a little primer. There was a hood squirter there. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to probably put a hood squirter in later on. Um, that was probably an aftermarket thing that they had. Because I don't think 60 had, 1960 had that. So, Just getting back on this thing again. Got rolling. I want to get this in the paint. So, Also, the purchases I made in the last month, I bought from um, Ross Wolf. He's in Montana. He has an aluminum oil cleaner. He sells for it. It was 289 bucks. A little expensive, but they say it makes this engine run a lot cooler. The 36 horsepower should run a lot cooler with this uh, aluminum oil cooler. So, okay, kids, that's the uh, progress. I can get back on this just about you know every night, hopefully, in the next couple months, and finally get this in the paint. Okay, talk to you later.